What's up everybody, my name is Key Air and you are watching the important things that really matter. Today we're going into part three of women that you should be running from. We are going into part three of women that you should be running from. And today we're going to be talking about another characteristic of narcissistic people whether it's somebody that you're dating who's narcissistic, or it could be your mother or father that's narcissistic. Now, well, what am I talking about today? What's the focus? Today's focus on women that you should be running from, today's focus is on how evil and wicked narcissistic people are. Narcissistic people are so evil and so wicked these are people that get off on seeing other people in great pain. Let me say this again. These are some evil, wicked people that get off on seeing other people in pain. This is not even just people who you may be dating. These people might be your mother or your father. They don't care about nobody but themselves. These people are so evil and so wicked that they have no conscience. These people will stab you in the back, won't think twice about it. You would think that some people who will do s certain types of evil upon you, you would think that, hey, maybe these people have a conscience. Non narcissistic people have no conscience whatsoever. Matter of fact, they get off on doing evil to people. They cannot sleep good unless they did some evil to some person. Let me say that again. Narcissistic people do not sleep well unless they do something evil to another person. They can sit up and stab somebody in the back. They can steal from somebody. And they will go home and lay down and have a very, very good sleep after they done stole from somebody, okay? After they done stabbed somebody in the back. After they have took somebody's husband from a, a woman. After they have took somebody's wife from somebody. After they have stole some money from somebody. After they have run some type of con artist game on somebody. Do you hear me? The woman that I was involved with, that I was about to marry, I will wonder why when I will go over her house, I will wonder why. Why is this woman watching this con artist show all the time? This person was watching a one of these con artist shows and it was almost like she was taking notes. And I'm sitting up here like, but you just seen this rerun several weeks ago, but you're watching it again? And so she was taking notes from this current artist show and she was watching reruns from this current artist show and what I come to find out later on she was like a, a current artist like a mini current artist she may have been a mini current artist and then again there's no telling how long she has been doing this stuff she could have been a full-blown big current artist and was just watching the show to try to get some ideas and that's exactly what it seemed like she was doing was that she was watching this current artist show to get ideas on cons to run on other people. And then she even told me about one or two people she ran cons on. And I'm sitting up here like, what type of person is this that I'm dealing with? So narcissistic people have no conscience. They can stab you in the back. They can steal from you. They can screw around on you. They can argue and drain you. They can do all types of evil things to you or other people and then they could turn around and as you're so upset and need to go lay down for the next five or six hours to recuperate from the argument that you had with these people because many of these people are extremely argumentative and after you have an argument with one of these people you will be drained like you got to go and lay down for five or six hours okay i am not making this up in the least bit I have, I got a relative that's exactly like what I'm telling you. I have a relative who is exactly like what I'm telling you. Argue about everything. You, that person will be wrong as two left shoes on their feet. 
and they'll sit up and tell you, no, I'm right. You know, I remember one time I was helping one of my very, very narcissistic uh, relatives, helping him with some homework because the person was taking some math classes. So I have a background in mathematics because I have an engineering background. And so I said, yeah, I don't have any problem in, in, in tutoring you and helping you with your math and what do you do with the problems that you're working on and whatnot. And so while I'm showing this person how to work a problem and to do well with this particular math problem that she's working with, she want to turn around and tell me I'm not showing her properly. I'm like, what do you mean I'm not showing you properly? I've done this plenty of times. I said, why are you trying to argue with me when I'm trying to tutor you and you ask me to tutor you in this algebra class to show you how to do these equations and stuff? So I know how to do it. Been doing this type of work for years. But this person is who has asked me for help is now turning around and saying that she want to try to show me how to do something that she don't even know how to do. That doesn't even make no sense whatsoever. How you ask me to tutor you in algebra, show you how to do this particular type of equations. I'm trying to show you and you tr and the person trying to argue with me. So what ended up happening was I was like, you know something, I told you I would help you but you are showing me right now that you don't even want to listen to anything I got to say. So you know something? You go find somebody else to help you since you want to argue with me about what I'm showing you. So you go ahead and find somebody help somebody else to help you in your class. So they keep up a bunch of confusion. They have no conscience. They have no conscience. Narcissistic people have no conscience. They will stab you in the back and sleep real good at night. They will set you up. I truly believe that some of these narcissists can set you up to be killed. And they go right to sleep, go right to bed, and may even sleep even real better because narcissistic people are extremely, extremely evil and wicked. They have no conscience. They can they can set you up to somebody to have you killed. And they'll just sleep good at night. That's how evil people are. Like I said, so these people are like demon child. They're like a demon seed. And every time you're around them, there's some type of confusion going on. Remember what I said before about how much they want to argue, how much they want to put you through a bunch of stuff. If you have a parent, a mother or father that's like this, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to stay away from people like this. Stay away. Keep your distance from them. Don't get into any detailed conversations about what's going on in your life. Don't go into any detailed conversations about what's going on in, the, in your life. Don't go into any detailed conversations, any deep conversations about anything. When you're dealing with a narcissistic person because they like arguing about every single thing, whenever you're around them, first of all, make it always a short period of time that you're around them if you have a narcissistic mother or father. Always make it so that you are only around them for short periods of time. That's number one. Number two, don't get into no deep conversations with them. Only talk about the weather. That's it. Only talk about the weather. Talk about baseball. Talk about the weather. Talk about football. Don't get into no deep conversations with any narcissistic person. Because you get into a deep conversation, have it's not even really a deep conversation. That little, that semi-deep conversation will turn into an argument. And by the time you finish going back and forth with them, they didn't got you. They didn't drain power out of you. They didn't drain energy from you. You need to keep this in mind. It's very, very important. They're evil, wicked people. They have no conscience. They they can care less of stabbing you in the back. They'll do all types of stuff that'll cause confusion in your life. So anyway, that is part three. That is part 
three of women that you should be running from. Peace.